Hey guys, this is Andrew with Andy's Lawns here to serve you. Today I'm going to be talking about changing a spark plug and preventative maintenance. We're changing a spark plug in this guy here. It's been running funny last day or so. I was pretty sure it was a spark plug, so as you can see, it's pretty gummed up in there. So I went ahead and I bought a few extra spark plugs. And as I was popping it off, this little guy here came off this wire if I'll go ahead and point right there but it hooks right up in there obviously you get your spark from it. it goes right down in there you can see it's probably needs to be cleaned out a little bit in there but back towards the uh, preventative maintenance side I went ahead and uh, bought some grease for my lawnmowers you're constantly washing them so you always want to make sure you're putting plenty of grease on there us uh, lawn care guys and People that use heavy equipment are always washing and always greasing their machines, keeping them working properly. Moving on over this, if you get a flat tire, put some air, whether it's your lawnmower, your truck, so forth like that. Gas treatment, I always recommend using this. And we'll go over here to two cycle. I prefer to buy the bigger uh, quartz, but this is what they had, so that's what I went with. Like I said, I bought a couple spark plugs. I actually had this sitting in my garage, so I didn't need to buy any of that. That's just uh, you put it around your spark plug and it helps so it won't seize in your motor. You typically find this a lot, and uh, you'll use this most definitely to change the spark plugs in a vehicle and so forth, like that. You can also use them in the little guys as well, leaf blowers and your uh, lawnmowers and so forth. So I bought all that stuff. This is a whole lot cheaper going this route, keeping everything running and maintaining. It came up to, it looks like a whopping $35 and $35 and 38 cents. So I'd much rather spend that money for everything here instead of having stuff break down this backpack blower here is definitely not cheap so it's a lot cheaper to spend the preventative maintenance as you can see this is where i keep everything down here so forth so i just kind of keep the shelf full of stuff and obviously it needs to be organized along with the rest of my garage i'm actually going to be doing that later this week and uh back to one thing I almost forgot, if you don't have the spark plug that you need and you need your machine right then and there, keep in mind this will not fix it long term as far as your spark plug, but you can grab something like this, sandpaper, and sand some of this stuff down. It'll be a temporary fix, but it'll get you through the remainder of your day and so forth like that because the plug will follow out pretty good. And you also want to make sure your spacing, it's not touching right here so that way it can create a spark between both of the metal and the point. So that way it can create a spark to work and all of that good stuff. But I thought I'd share that with you guys. If you have any questions or anything else you'd like to share, anything you've done differently, definitely all ears. Something else you'd like to hear as well. But. Thank you so much for your time and peace out and God bless YouTube land. Bye.